Narandom ko, nung bata ko, buhay. Yung mga story ng nanay ko. I don't understand how this won admittedly the best picture award sa Metro Manila Film Fest. Pero pag-usapan natin siya further sa review nito. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Avram and welcome back to the channel here at A Vlogs. And for this video, we're going to be reviewing the film Firefly. It's a fantasy film revolving around this kid. Well, actually, he's an adult now who wrote this children's book. And the story revolves around a flashback, a big flashback regarding his childhood, a specific event when his mother actually passed away. He enlisted the help of strangers and they went on this adventure to go to this island of the fireflies or mga alitap-tap. It's a very simple but heavy in terms of symbolism kind of story and I think that's where probably the hype for the Metro Manila Film Fest award part comes in because I guess out of everything I've seen this year this is the you know most like symbolically rich story. Like sobrang deep niya in terms of the metaphors and the figurative language that you get here. A very Pinoy stylistic storytelling vibes here that is the most out of everything else that was offered. So I don't know bakit doon nang gagaling yung okay, bigyan natin ng award because it is like that. In terms of what we're given, I'm not all that pleased. I'm not, not all that satisfied. Number one, story-wise, it does have moments where it dips down and it does get a bit slow and boring. When you get to the meatiness of it towards the end, dun lang talaga nagpipick up. Entertaining and interesting yung paggawa and flow of the story, pero it does take its sweet time to get there. The easiest way I can describe this is imagine a Pinoy version of Life of Pi. If you remember Life of Pi, na medyo may open-ended, you're kind of going into this, you're not sure if it's all fantasy, if it's all in the, you know, head of the storyteller kind of thing. Papaniwala mo ba siya or hindi? It's that kind of vibes, but not completely there yet. Like, almost there, yun yung pinaka-safe bet ko na na ma compare ang Firefly to, but it's not really like that as well. Sobrang kulang pa ng ganong suspense ng ganong ka-fantasy type of adventure. And then that's what, kumbaga, dun na ako pinakakulangan din. It's an adventure fantasy film, but then you don't necessarily feel the excitement. You don't necessarily feel the grandeur of a fantasy story. There's elements here when it's animated that it's still, obviously, we're not in that space that we can go and brag about our animation styles and, you know, CGI effects and whatnot. May wolf dito na sobrang pangit ng pagagawa. Even the fireflies, I felt like it could have been like the most amazing moment, but hindi din siya nakapitalize. And I understand it. I didn't actually expect it to be in that level. But then, if you're gonna dive into something like that, na fantasy talaga, I would have hoped or wished that you did find a way to make it, you know, like sobrang captivating, especially for children. This feels like the most child friendly film out of everything we've gotten from this year in the MMFFs. So I felt like you could have amped it up to have that awe and wonder and spectacle. I think majority of the cast members, specifically the child, I'll just flash the name of the child, um, Sha, he does deserve the award for best child actor. I think he did an, a fantastic job. Being so emotionally in the zone and you know, being in that atmosphere that's very emotional. Ding Dong Dante is here, although he's not the main star, did a pretty okay job. Same with Alessandro De Rossi, they didn't overshadow the entire film as a guest. Now, the other cast members also did a pretty great job, but then again, I felt like this is the biggest highlight. The cast, the acting, but for me, center stage, it was the child. It's really about the child. It's really about this kid, and Nadalanya, which is really a testament to how good he is, as young as he is, na kaya niya dalhin yung buong movie almost technically by himself. Does it deserve the film of the year for the MMFFs? Is it the best picture awardee talaga? Like, does it deserve that? I honestly feel like it didn't, and I felt like there are other films this year in the roster that could have been there more than Firefly. Now, let me be honest, 
I wasn't at all like sobrang pangit niya. I just felt like it didn't deserve the award, but then maganda pa rin siyang panoorin. Again, the most poetic, the most literary, the most heavy in terms of symbolisms. So in that alone, maganda siyang panoorin. But I feel like everything else also needed some improvement in terms of the cinematography, in terms of the animation, in terms of the overall spectacle that a fantasy film should bring. Hindi siya talaga nag-deliver all out. And because of that, I give this a score of 6 out of 10. It's still a pretty decent watch, just not my top for this year. Kayo, have you seen Firefly? I actually want to know your thoughts about this film. Did you guys enjoy it? Leave a comment down below. And as always, don't forget to make every day into an adventure. Catch me in my next video, guys. God bless and peace out.